Hello everyone and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. In the last session we continued clearing out the third area of map markers to try and get a little bit more of them cleared because we had really not done too many during that arc. And uh, then we found one of those glitch spots, completed that and hunted around for more but didn't see any. Uh, I won't know. <laughs> I, I asked for people to comment. I won't have seen those comments because, uh, you know, recording in batches. So as soon as... Uh, as soon as that episode goes up, I will, of course, go back if there is one or not if there isn't. Oh, we've got new codex stuff. Enemies. Four enemy types left we haven't seen. Banneret, a canny fighter. The Banneret observes you and infuriatingly alters his moves accordingly. He also fancies himself a bit of a leader and will command nearby Saxon archers to loose devastating volleys of arrows. Interesting. I mean, he went down like a bitch for me, but hey, <laughs> what are you going to do? Um... Can we upgrade either of these yet? No, we need 600 iron. We're getting there. We are getting there. Oh. You know what? When we got a bit of titanium last time, I think I thought that was fabric. <laughs> not that not that it looked like fabric. I mean, I think I thought the one that I was needing to get was titanium. But no, we still need to get fabric and still have not seen a single one. So that is great. So we can't upgrade either of those. But we can upgrade these. So, guess we will. Oh, that's already. Nice. <laughs> now we need to get the thing to upgrade it more. Oh shit, this has an empty rune slot? What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, do, 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 do. It's just gonna be more attack, isn't it? <laughs> That's what we want. That's the one that I want. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is there any bow that I. Increase attack when close to full health. I'm always at full health when I'm using the bow because I never use it in combat. I only use it out of combat. And these two both have lower attack, so guess we're sticking with that. Cool. Cool. Right. Now, as promised, straight back home. Hi-ho, hi-ho, it's off to Raventhorpe we go. Hi-ho, 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 hi-ho. Look at his reflection. What a weird looking reflection. How is this loading screen taking so long? Thank you. It's time to upgrade. Actually, first of all, it's time to welcome fucking Freaky Girl. Eivor, Hello, Freaky Girl. What a pleasure to see you. Oh dear. It feels like it's been so long. Valka, my friend. You're most welcome here. Are you well? Better than well. I am present. And your mother? My mother has found her peace at last. She walks through a world seen only in dreams and will forevermore. That is all any of us can hope for. Indeed. Come. Just from a hug? <laughs> Exhilarating. The waves and the wind were with us from the start. We flew like seabirds. And how are you? In spite of your stoic look, there is a brightness in your eyes that warms me. It may be a kind of hope. A settlement is growing. The people are happy and I am looking forward to more. And your visions? They come and go. But leave all that aside. Let me help you with your things. This way. We found help her carry her luggage. The hill. What mm. a great dude. Every hour we traveled, I tried to conjure in my mind some vision of this place. And how close were you? I saw the trees, and the water, and the rolling hill. But I could not foresee so much green. It is a magnificent and calming color. A balm for sea salted ice. Volka! 
blood, Zeppo. What brings you? Hope there isn't a curse on the settlement or some such. Ha! <laughs> the only curse on this place is their great lout of a blacksmith. It is a rare feeling to travel across the sea and still find oneself at home. This place feels powerful, alive. Do you foresee great things for us? No need for foresight. I feel it in my heart. All these people you have brought here. This life you have built on these stranger shores. Does it please you? It does. To know that I've built this place and kept these people safe is a gift. You speak first of yourself when I ask this question. Which says more than you intend, I think. Let's <laughs> test out the old the old ankles for these quick turns. Do you want to go any faster? Ad Meliora. Good day. And who is that fellow? Octavian, a strange man. I think you'll like him. You see there? Your home is just ahead. Tell me about your visions. They are as they've always been. Little has changed, save that clarity. With every return, the things I see feel less like dreams and more like memories. And does the All Father still appear before you? From time to time, yes. He speaks to me as well, but it feels mad to say such things aloud. I understand. You can put those just there. Thank you. You're fucking welcome. This will do. Thank you, Eivor. Imagine if she'd gone, nah, this won't do. I am most at home helping others. May we return to the subject of your visions? We could. If you think it worth something. I need one more ingredient to finish an elixir for you. Look around the pond there. You will find what I require. Once brewed, this elixir will help you dive deeper into your visions. To see them more clearly. I. Bit of thistle. Oh, you need all the thistle. this all. Is there any more? Oh, two out of five? Oh, shit. Okay. There's none around the edge here. I guess they must be much further downstream? Unless, wait, can you go behind this waterfall? Is there a secret cave back here? Huh. Hello, baby. It's a classic, isn't it? The secret cave. Behind the waterfall, note snitch. Oh my god, is that my first fabric? My first fabric was sitting in my fucking camp the entire time? What the fuck? That's just rude. I can't believe that. I can a believe that. All right, gal. What now? I have the plants you need. Good, good. Once added to the elixir, it will be ready to drink. In taking this, 
you will have access to the All Father's wisdom. I don't know about that. The All Father keeps of telling me to do dumb shit. Live as he lived so long ago. Prepare yourself for a journey into another time, another plane. He keeps telling me to do dumb shit, though. He's like, oh, yeah, kill this person that we shouldn't kill. Did you the just spit in my drink? Ready. It will taste like misery itself, but it will open your mind to the sights and sounds of the nine worlds. Bitch, I don't want to fucking drink your spit. Motherfucker. That's a bright screen. Avert my eyes! Avert my eyes! It's too bright! Am I a bird? I am a bird. Feels good. I'm Odin. Makes sense. What the fuck is this joint? Hello? Is that Yggdrasil? Oh fuck! Is that the Rainbow Bridge? I've watched Thor. <laughs> I know what that is. Holy shit. Are we where I think we're? Eh? Am I right? Am I right? I'm right! The prophecies of the Nornir are as clear as daylight. The Aesir are doomed. All Asgard. Is doomed. Repeat the last passage. Brothers will fight one another and kill one another. The home of the gods turns red with gore. It will be an age of storms. An age of wolves. Not this. Further along. Have it. Foretelling of a wolf. A great beast. The wolf Fenrir howls terribly before the gates to hell. The beast will break its bonds and run. And my part? What about me? Then comes the second great sorrow. When the Harvey goes to fight the wolf. And falls to Fenrir. And falls to Fenrir. It's there, you see. You have foretold my death. Your Harvey will die. We speak what we see. We know your fate. Your destiny. Have you gleaned enough, O oh wise one? Uh... Fuck fate. <laughs> Life is what you make of it. Why struggle and fight? We are but threats stretched between anchored points. Without hope, life is a prison, not a gift. Life is the music that comes from playing those threads. That is what lifts our spirits and fills our hearts. I am no string to be plucked or tied. I am the High One, the Lord of Ecstasy, the enemy of the Wolf. I am eternal. Yeah, same bro. Please tell me I can actually, like, explore this joint. Thoughts. A storm is brewing. Not in the clouds, but down below. Does our final battle draw near? Is this how Ragnarok begins? I don't know, mate. Check out God of War Ragnarok coming in 2022. The fate of the high Asgard Ark started? What? 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 Oh my god. This is an actual... Oh my goodness gracious me. I may actually explode with happiness at this. This is, this is sick. <laughs> this is awesome. What the fuck? Synchronize! Yo! 
is gorgeous. Before I yeet myself off the top of this, I'm just gonna have a quick look around. Wait, there's, there's, what is the map? Oh my god, there's so many wealth. No artifacts, a few, a few mysteries. What the fuck is this symbol? Wake up. Oh, this is a quick exit, I guess. There's one other fast travel point. What? What? <laughs> this is sick. This is awesome. The Nornir warn of a dire future as the gods of Asgard face a more immediate threat. What? What? Home to the vast pantheon of Norse gods, Asgard is a Viking paradise where warfare is a way of life and death. Here lies Valhalla, Odin's Hall of the Slain, where chosen champions engage in non-stop feasting and blood sports until that final day when all are called to fight in Ragnarok, the battle that will end the world as they know it. It's the end of the world as we know it. Jotnar. The Jotnar are denizens of the of Jotunheim, descendants of Ymir, the first being according to Norse myth. Though often referred to as giants or trolls, they're not all ugly and twisted, but sometimes beautiful. Not the one on the right, though. <laughs> Known as shape changers and tricksters, the god Loki is half Jotun and Odin is descended from them. Huh. Didn't know that last bit. I, I know most of my uh, Norse stuff from the Thor films, because, <laughs> you know, I'm an MCU fan. Um, so obviously Loki is half giant in in those. Frost giant, or whatever they were. Um, I didn't know Odin was descended from them. I, I'm not sure if they just removed that from the MCU, or if I just forgot. <laughs> but that is where most of my knowledge of this shit comes from. Well, not most. Some. Let's go with half. I did learn a little bit of stuff in school. You know, here and there. The fuck is this? Teleport? No, take me back. <laughs> I want to, uh, I want to jump off the synchronized point. What the fuck is that symbol? That's a new one. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> I've got to jump off the synchronized point. I've got to do it. Just just casually jumping off Asgard. Can we climb this? No. It feels bad. Yeet. Fuck, that's sick. Fuck, that is sick. I love the way it like... Wob, 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 wob. As you fall. Oh, it's so good. You cannot smash your way out of certain death. Who crushed the skull of Thrymur, king of the Jotnar? Who slew Geirad the Gargantuan with a flaming ball of... Yow, 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 yow. And it was all well I know Tyr from God of War. The past is settled. It is our future we must decide. You don't decide the future. You strangle it. By Mjolnir, I will hunt down these invaders to the ends of Asgard if I must. And leave our halls undefended. Freya? Without your hammer, we'll soon be overrun. More danger, more glory. They're going with the Swords of Dickhead route, which I believe is like canon. <laughs> I believe MCU come back. <laughs> makes Thor a lot nicer than he's actually supposed to be in other media and stuff. Okay, I've got to I've got to collect something here uh, just to see what it is. So this one's fifty up, up there. Can I climb this? Hmm. Seems like you're kind of restricted in Asgard. Oh, but there are stairs. Oh, but they're low stairs. Uh. 
How would I go about getting higher? Probably not by going down here, but, uh... Fifty-four up. I have no idea how I would get up there. I guess let's go and grab one that we go down to. Although this seems like a bit of a journey, but whatever. Thirty of Emir's tear stone. Okay, is this is this what? Wait, there's supposed to be. Oh, it's underneath. How do I get down further? Where am I on the map right now? I am there. Okay, if I click teleport, where does it take me? Where do you take me, Mr. Teleport? Uh, not far away, but lower. Was it that one I was looking for? That's now 103 up. I feel like it's, it's now harder to get. Hmm. So I'm guessing we have, there's 30 of them in total and you have to collect them all to do whatever that thing is. Will I do it? Yes, probably. <laughs> Out of curiosity, I will probably do that. Eventually, not now, obviously. <laughs> Eventually. At least I can climb here. He says as Eivor forgets how to climb. It's like right here. <laughs> How? God damn it. <laughs> Is there a path inside? Aha! Hello. Oh. Not good. Got him. Emir's tear stone. Very nice, very nice. Okie doke, okie doke. So yeah, I guess you have to collect all 30 of those and then you head back to this little offering thingy and something will happen. <laughs> no spoilers, obviously. Cool. For now though, uh, I guess let's Fast travel back here and jump down again, seeing as that's probably quicker than walking all the way back up there. And also because jumping off this thing is really fucking cool. Oh my god, look at that. Just look at that. That is just gorgeous. I've got to run down that bridge. I've got to do it. <laughs> This is so fucking sick, man. Ah, treat! Bratella Eon for Anastavi! Serta! Come in! Who is balls? We are as guardians. We don't. No! Don't freeze on me now! 
What are you doing? Hulk around oh. like elves. We fight. We are fighting for our homes, for our people. But some problems can't be solved with the hard end of a hammer. Name one. Harvey, break our stalemate. What is this? Another invasion? Warriors from Jotunheim. They attack from all fronts. While we sit on our trembling hands and scratch our bums. Not so, Thor. Many Aesir have been sent to the four corners of Asgard, leaving we four to defend the Great Hall. Harvey, lend me a score of your warriors and I will lead them into Jotunheim myself. We cannot afford such a loss. The Ain Hariar must hold back to defend our city. I would bring them here, to hold the Great Hall itself. This invasion is too large to spread ourselves Is that around. Sigurd's voice All actor? All this prattle solves nothing. Battle or death! Silence! All of you. We will take the fight to the enemy, before they cross the Bifrost. Well said, Ravenfeeder. Name those who may fight beside you. Uh... Tear? We, we like Tear. I need only one. You, Tear, Lord of Justice. We'll gather our forces and scatter the enemy like grains. <gasps> yes, I will fight as a thresher through a field of wheat, mad one. The rest of you, stay back to protect the Great Hall. Hmm. Who are any creatures among the Jotnar? Drago, trolls, or wolves? What troubles you, Havi? Does your far side tell you something? More invaders! They gather at the Bifrost Bridge! Where's Loki? He should be guarding that door! Warn the others. The fight begins. I'm with you, Havi. Let's deal out some punishment. I feel pretty sure that's Sigurd's a voice actor. Sure, let's go. Lads, 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 lads. They're pouring in from Hamedal's tower. We must clear the bridge to crush. This is dope. Did him pulling out his hammer just do a fucking big ass ripple effect? Oh my god, I can't believe how the cool this is. Imagine a whole game set here. Imagine if instead of Valhalla, imagine if it was Assassin's Creed Asgard. <laughs> Who's this walking out the bridge? With me, I give this battle to myself. Huh? We're on the fucking Rainbow Bridge! <laughs> Holy shit! This is awesome! Yo! What a shot. What a shot. Uh oh, who waits us? With Kill them and the illusions die. Who awaits us down there? This is fucking awesome, man. Oh, there's my boy. Oh, you mate, get with the program, run. Blood for Asgard. Say hello to Jordmunganda. Kill the Asim. Burn the hole. Lol. Nice fucking. My mark is telling me to just keep going down there. Should I just ignore everyone and run down there? Fucking hell. It's scary that the floor disappears when you do that. Shat my pants just a little bit. Heimdall's tower, eh? Who is this now? Hi. 
Yo! Lad! I wish the camera had been angled, but I didn't I didn't expect it like the camera jerked upwards and I was like, what the fuck's going on? So I pulled it back down. And then Thor started shouting. So I was like, oh wait, and started to look up. But as I looked up, he crashed down in front of me, so I kind of didn't see exactly what happened, but I mean I can get the gist. I'm astonished the flow of the Vegas. But I wish it had uh I wish I'd seen a slightly better angle. Of what occurred there. Excuse me whilst I stand still next to this door. That fucking Loki. What's that? You've done us no favors, either, Jotun. Wait, no. You're, you're mistaken. I am no Jotun. I was only passing. Uh, uh. Harvey. I found this one lurking in the shade, shying from battle. Shall I extract some teeth to get him talking? Or pluck out an eye? You were told to guard this portal, Loki. What happened? The portal opened, and these soldiers came bleeding through. So I sent warning straight away. And I captured this one, the soggy jowled sheep herder. What is your name, stranger? I am called the Builder by most. He wants your name, not your trade. If I have another name, it's not within my memory. Builder it's been for as long as I've been building things. Are you with the Giants? Clearly not. What can you offer? Why are you here? Why have you come to Asgard? To bow my bruised ego, I'll admit. The Jotnar did not appreciate my skills and crafts. And you thought we, in Asgard, might? Was it wrong to believe you and your kin possess a wisdom beyond measure and could recognize such a rare opportunity? Harvey, when someone gifts you a horse, you ride it. I put a bridle on this one. I mean, surely we'd want evidence that he's good at building Is first. Is that right, Builder? Are you a gift horse? Or a secret curse? Neither, I one. I am only a tool. One with hopes to be well used. This portal has been a source of misery for some time. As I speak I with my mouth it. shut. With respect, this is not the only way the Yatna can enter Asgard. May I propose a more encompassing solution? Uh... What is your price? And what do you want in exchange for the shield, other than your freedom? I must give that a thought, a very deep thought. It would not be a simple task. And I do have my reputation to consider. If you doubt me, I could offer a demonstration. Good. A demonstration, yes. And if he fails to impress, we hoist his skin as a sail. I'll accept these terms, with the last condition. I would need water from your well of Ulf. What do you know of our sacred well? It's a place of great power and vital magic. A source of spirit. It's the water there that will power your shield. I'll collect the water, Harvey. Keep this one clear of our sacred sites. Loki, halt. I will go to the well. You must find this builder clearing for his display. No, no. It's no trouble, Harvey. The damp and the dark appeal to me. Go with the builder. 
Then return to the Great Hall with news of our next step. As you command. An interesting offer. A curious coincidence. Huh. Don't know that I trust either of those two. <laughs> Gonna say that. Not sure that I trust either of them. Uh, right. Something all the way over there. How do I get there, I wonder? Probably a teleport? Man, how cool. Fuck, that's a long way away. How very, very, very cool. So Asgard is just like a completely separate set of quests. It's not... Yeah, okay. I guess it makes sense. Oh, boy. Loki, it's hard being the smartest person in the room, especially when no one else will acknowledge it. Of all the Aesir, only Odin has shown a true appreciation for Loki's intelligence, and even then the Allfather has only ever done so to further his own knowledge-seeking agenda. As much as he resents his Asgardian overlords, Loki, the son of a Jotun, would prefer to see the Aesir be the architects of their own destruction rather than having to do the heavy lifting himself. Thor has a somewhat less complicated view of the world than his father, Odin, Power quests and politics have less appeal than the more satisfying activities of eating, drinking, and fighting. Thor is not afraid to die at Ragnarok, for he knows his end will be glorious. He loves his wife, Sif, deeply, and will murderously defend her honour at any given opportunity. Sometimes, when bored, he actively seeks out such opportunities. Tyr. Tyr was the warlord of the Aesir until Odin defeated him in a match of martial skill. He, he deemed the contest honestly won and embraced his new role of loyal lieutenant. Odin rewarded the show of trust by making Tyr his confidant and chief lawgiver. While he prides himself on his unchallenged reputation as a fair and even-handed judge, Tyr occasionally expresses an intense distrust of the Vanir over reasons he refuses to fully disclose. And Freya. Freya of the Vanir married Odin for largely political reasons, and despite their many disputes and infidelities, a fondness and mutual respect, respect has grown between the two in lieu of love. Well, this sure is a different... Uh, <laughs> a different way that it went in uh, God of War. Although her acceptance was not unanimous among the Aesir, she is quite comfortable in her role as their queen and enjoys adding more civilized touches to their otherwise war-centered lives. She is particularly pleased with the robust growth of the cat population since her arrival, much to the consternation of Tyr and others. That is quite funny. Yoink. Alrighty, let's go explore some more, shall we?